they get is PR with Aztec 2.0 and today we are unboxing the one and only Dell Ladder 295 10 one Before we get further into all the details, a special thanks to our friends over at Dell for sending this unit. Now, I must say I am super, super, super excited to get my hands on this device. For those who may not be aware, Dell recently released the 9000 series which introduced an all new premium line of laptop as well as 2 and ones and the 9510 is the first of its kind. The model we are covering today comes with the 10th generation of Intel Core i7, the V Pros which allow remote access to management, comes with 16 gigs of RAM, Intel UHD graphics, Dell Optimizer, a built-in AI that learns and adapts the way you work, insane battery life that lasts 30 hours which still needs to be tested by the way and at last built in 5g uh, in order to keep this video short and concise i will add the additional specs in the description below now let's take a look at the laptop all right what do we have here so we are now opening Laptop. Oh, gotta make sure we're doing this thing right here. Yeah, they did a pretty good job by um, boxing everything. There we go. Now let's turn this up a little bit. All right. We almost there. Perfect. So this is pretty much the first look out of the box. We have the Type C power adapter, 90 watt uh, to be specific. This is just the second piece uh, to the power adapter. There you go. That's about it. So out of the box, we have the power adapter, um, as you can see, and we also have yeah the laptop and the power adapter. Uh, I must say, a little bit disappointed um, for a two-in-one. I was expecting, uh, I was expecting for the laptop to come with the with the pen, and it looks like it didn't come that way, but. Uh, Anyway, moving on. Looks like Dell did a pretty good job by boxing everything, like they usually do. Uh, but let us take a look. And there it is. Perfect. All right, so looking at the left hand side, we have an HDMI port, followed by two USB-C uh, port, and this is pretty much a SD card slide that's in there. And on the opposite side, we have a USB 3.2, followed by uh, a jack port and what we're looking at here is just the um, 
lock slot for a laptop. Overall, looking at the laptop, uh, I must say um, it's really light. Um, easy to um, easy to carry uh, for a 15 inch um, laptop perfect uh, if you spend a lot of time on the go uh, moving uh, from conference room to conference room uh, definitely makes your life easier and let alone the um, the battery life which is insane um, on this uh, particular uh, device looking at the top of the laptop as you can see there's four microphones uh, pretty much listed at the top which makes it easier uh, for um, conference calls meetings um, while you're on the go and Looking at the back of it, you can see that you have additional fan here just to help keep the um, CPU uh, nice and cool, which is really good. And there's also additional fan here um, on the back of it, as you can see. Pretty awesome. Um, let's open it up. Voila. There you go. Looking at this laptop, as you can see, on the left hand side and on the right hand side, you have two built in speakers which uh, they'll indicate it really improves the audio experience significantly um, on this device. Uh, check out the new keyboard, the modern keyboard. Uh, it's really, yeah, just a little bit of kick to it really nice it doesn't make too much noise which is pretty good uh, check out the um, the mouse pad really nice um, and smooth and on the side you have the um, the place where you pretty much rest your palm it has this um, uh, aluminum brush to it which really adds just the uh, additional touch uh, i think that dell did a pretty good job by um, designing um, those new models on the right hand upper side you have the power button which is also the um, fingerprint option as well and what else and it looks like we have the camera here um, as well as you can see overall um, you know uh, just by looking at this device uh, I think that um, Dell did a pretty good job with the design and um, with the um, materials uh, it's really um, you can tell that they they're invested um, some time um, into this In terms of a course perspective, those devices were not cheap at all. Uh, the starting course starts around 18, 1800 bucks, all the way up to um, to 3000. It all depends on the specs um, of your choice. Uh, yes, I know it may be uh, a little bit pricey, but uh, keep in mind that uh, the 9000 series for the most parts were um, designed for um, business you for, for businesses enterprise uh, but it doesn't mean that um you know you can't use it as a regular user right in fact I think that they'll be really great for uh, power users with um, who spends a lot of time and uh, spreadsheet um, perhaps even um, power automate and some of those things so where do we go from here so 
I'm really looking forward to um, over the next two weeks to um, utilize um, this product uh, just so I can give you guys a fair review. I uh, just want to keep in mind this was just the um, first impression just to kind of have a look at it and see um, um, on a design perspective um, whether or not Dell did a pretty good job. Um, let me know if you have any questions please leave um, you know leave them in the comments and um, I'll do my best to um, go ahead and get back to you guys but where do we go from here over the next two weeks I'll be um, testing this device and see um, the pros and cons and I'll be more than happy to uh, go ahead and get back to you all. Thank you. Bye now.